Hi everybody. So this morning we need to cut some fence posts and as you can see I've got a bunch of uh, these are 16 feet long, two and a half by two and a half. They're made out of tamarack and so this is what we're going to use. So now that the fence posts are made, we're out in the field and Jim it has got Bill here. He's using a single horse again and he's got the stone boat just going along and putting in fence posts where they're needed. Bill did work this morning. Him and Aaron were doing a little bit of um, harrowing, spring tooth harrowing. Jim said it's still quite wet in many places, but they were able to go around the ends of the field and um, stay out of the wet spots. Jim said that and Billy worked hard this morning, but he still really needs to calm down. So we thought he'd bring him out again this afternoon and do a little bit more work with him. Some places along here, just back there, and it was, it's still wet, but it's drying out very quickly around here. We've got quite a breeze going on this afternoon. It's one of those days when it's, the wind's a little chilly, but the temperature's a lot warmer. We feel like there's a lot of places that need new fence posts this year, so Jim's got quite a few ready to go in. got a, a handy coat hanger there. Here's some of that wetness I was telling you about. So, what do you feel are the advantages of going around with a horse like this? Well, I, uh, I'm just using the horse is just great. I like to use the horse however I can. But um, the ground is still very, very wet. And so, I could come around with the team with the sled, but they'll do more damage. Two horses does twice as much damage as one horse in the wet ground. So, by having just the one horse, there's places I'll just go with one horse, but there's also places I'm going to actually will be using the team. But uh, I do have to be careful because of the wet ground. So what I'm doing right now is just going through and finding posts that need to be replaced. And uh, I'll come back with my insulators and actually fix them up. Um, but I'm just replacing some of the ones that are getting kind of ripe. 
a couple days ago we took some lumber up to Abby, our daughter, and that was in our last video. And uh, we actually um, put some fence posts in up along the road in a different way than we we're doing it today. We like to change things around quite a bit and do things differently so the horses get to experience all kinds of different things. Grab that hammer at the same time, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll stick them in. Freddie, could you show me a few of them over here? Yep. That one doesn't have an insulator, does it? No. Nope. So these are fence posts that we put up last year. The same thing, you can see that they weather the color weathers, but this was a new stretch last year. Penny's getting some time in the pasture today, as well as the colts. across over there the cows are enjoying a little respite soon they will be calving that will be exciting so we'll catch up with you all a little bit later at the next thing As you can see, Kenny's feeling a little better. I just wanted to show you him running. Here I am in the garden. Got my little gardening crew with me here. It's time to at least start thinking about gardening. I've got um, ashes to spread out that Jim deposited here from our outdoor furnace. Over the winter, it's kind of hard to maneuver and spread things out during the winter because of all the mud and whatnot so he he just deposited here i'll spread it around i was working out in the flower gardens and such and these chickens love to follow me around while i'm doing that and pick up worms on the way later we'll get this chicken coop moved that we used last summer whether we use it for the um, laying hens or not we have not decided but we might be getting some meat birds that we could put in there but Jim wants to get it off the garden so he's going to be doing that with the horses in a little bit. 
Meanwhile, I'll spread the ashes around here. And I think he's gonna put a couple loads of manure where there isn't any yet. As you can see, he did deposit some here last fall and the chickens have spread it out all over the place. So the chickens and I got the ashes spread out. So here comes Bill and Baron to move the um, chicken coop from last year. On our farm playlist, we have videos of when Jim built this and everything. If you're interested and are new to her, our channel, we do have playlists on different things that we do here. Looks good. Guess that job is done and now it's on to the next one. Hey. 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 What are you gonna do now, Jim? So I'm gonna go and harrow just a little bit more. If you wanna come out, you could? Yeah, I'll come out and show everybody what's going on. Can I ride with you? Yes, sir. Ah. Ah, ah.
Hey. Okay, so I want to just explain a couple things here, what I'm doing. Um, this, this end of the field is the highest and driest. But as you can see off to the right, there's still some dark spots. I have not been through that yet. Down the rest of the field, I've made ho, ho. I've made a couple passes down through ho, but there's some very bad wet spots still. At the very end of the field, it's not bad. I did a little bit of harrowing down there. But the darker spots are the wetter spots, of course. And you can see the strip right here where I came up through and how much that has dried just by making one pass through. So often I can go through when it starts to dry but not quite dry enough and one pass through, the next day I can disc it and harrow it fine. Now, fortunately this year, all this ground was plowed last fall and it plowed nicely. And I actually am not going to have to do any disking I don't think I think I can just do everything with a spring tooth and with my lack of horses that's going to work out great for me because I can put two or three on the on the spring tooth here which is what I have now and do a lot of work two horses it's a little bit hard for them but if I just come out here for you know an hour at a time and then then take them back in and give them a break while I do something else it works just fine so that's what we're doing and uh yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. We're going to show more of our fitting this field to see down in weeks to come. I cuffs up. Ah. Our spring work is underway and I am very excited. It was so great to get out here and to see the field being worked. And thanks for visiting us and stay tuned. We've got a lot more spring work, gardening, field work, many other things to show you. So we appreciate your support and hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful day.